Hello to the people of Trinity Cathedral and beyond. My name is BJ Owens. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral. Today I'm thinking about where we give our attention. In a world where uh, attention is what we compete for, or rather folks seem to compete for ours, there is so much to deal with and manage, even just thinking about adapting our world to the life of pandemic, or if something, uh, if we're directly impacted by that. That really uh, grabs our attention. But even beyond that, uh, we are uh, constantly barraged with demands on uh, that we pay attention, that we react, that we respond, that we perhaps over respond to things that may not be so important in the long term, but they feel they have this this sense, this this flame of urgency that that we're taught we just have to respond to it. One of my favorite writers, bloggers, is Seth Godin, and he wrote something a few weeks ago called Day Trading Emotions, and he's thinking about the stockbrokers who, when when there's great drama in the stock market, they're able to sit at home and, and do a bunch of trades in a given day and, and perhaps make money or perhaps not. He says it's pretty tempting to day trade your emotions, especially now. We've piped the, vo the voices, I'm reading it to you, that we pipe the voices of a billion people directly into our brains. The loudest, angriest, most frightened people are the ones who are amplified the most. Everyone's sharing what's breaking, the vis visceral angst of this very moment over and over again. Just as it's impossible to make a profit as a day trader, it's difficult to be happy when you day trade emotions. But there's an alternative. Buy and hold, stand for something, stick with it. Long-term contributions matter. Well, another way to think of this is another of my favorite writers, but not someone who, uh, who has a blog, uh, to my knowledge, is uh, Pema Chodron. And uh, uh, this is Comfortable with Uncertainty. I think it was written about 25 years ago. And uh, this has always stood out to me especially when we think about time and what matters and really taking time. We instead of transcending the suffering of all creatures, we move towards turbulence and doubt however we can. We explore the reality and unpredictability of insecurity and pain. We can explore we, and we try not to push it away. If it takes years, if it takes a lifetime, actually, she's a Buddhist. She writes, if it takes lifetimes, uh, but you'll forgive the edit. If it takes years, if it takes lifetimes, we let it be as it is at our own pace. Without speed or aggression, we move down and down and down. With us move millions of others, our companions in awakening from fear. Do you see God moving over time, not just in this moment, in this hour, but over the course of months and years, decades, and even longer than that? I certainly do. I certainly try to. Or do we re respond and react? Do we live amidst emotional day trading? where uh, what is most urgent and coming across our, our field of vision is what grabs all of our attention. Well, perhaps the, one of the gifts of this moment, uh, one of the temptations is to fall farther and farther into that day trading life. But one of the gifts may also be a chance to look more carefully at the gift of time to get a sense of, of how we can look to the whole, uh, the long game, to look to, to, the, to the longer story of God's life in us. And that will help us, I think, to have a much clearer sense of what truly is urgent. Some things really, really are urgent, as well as those things that are perhaps not quite as urgent, as acute as they uh, claim or demand to be. I give thanks for each and every one of you, and I ask that you continue to hold one another in your prayers and in your conversations with God. I invite you to ask and consider time. What does it mean to, to, to be with God and with one another for this long period of time? I don't just mean the time of pandemic, but the time of our whole lives, the time uh, 
beyond our own lives and even looking towards eternal time. Blessings to each and every one of you. Be healthy, be safe, and take good care.